Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel about plus size beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Today we have a battle of the brands. Are you guys ready for this? We are going to put four brands head to head for a high rise skinny jean battle. And the best part, I picked out denim from a range of price points from $30 to $160. So this is gonna be fun. I feel like I've heard a lot of feedback throughout the years that denim is one of those items that people, of women of all sizes actually, dread shopping for. I think just making sure that the waist and the hip and the legs and the thighs and like all, all the places fit perfectly, that there's enough stretch, that you know the wash looks authentic, just so many factors to think about when you shop for denim. So hopefully this will help you guys a little bit in your search to know what I feel about these four different brands. I think it'll also be really interesting to see how they stack up against each other in relation to the wash, the fit solutions, the retention of the fabric. I won't be wearing them long enough to know if like they stretch out after wearing, if they start getting pilling, which are like the little bumps on the inside of the fabric of the thigh after you wear them for a while. Uh, but if I do decide to keep any of these, then I can um, give a follow up on what that looks like. Also in some polls done, there was note that women prefer seeing denim shown online back to a basic tee tucked in so they can see where the waist hits as well as barefoot so they can see where the ankle hits as well. So for you guys, doing a plain white tee, doing no shoes or socks, and this will help to give an accurate look and comparison brand to brand. As a reminder, here are my measurements. I usually wear around a size 20 to 22 and 5'6", and I would describe my body type as straight from the front, but curvy from the side. And something else to consider when you're watching me try these on is, even though I'm 5'6", most of my length is my torso up, so my legs are a little bit shorter. Um, so just note that my comments to length are specific to my proportions. So the four brands we're looking at today are Target, Old Navy, Torrid, and Good American. And what I'm gonna have you guys do before I start trying them on for you is here's images of me wearing each of them in no specific order. You'll see numbers underneath, one through four, and then here's the list of all the brands that I'm trying on today. I want you right now to go down to the comments and Take a guess, which number correlates with which brand? Really curious what the first perception from a photo, a video of the denim makes you think. I'll also list the prices of the denim next to the brand, and that might even help guide your decision as well. All right, did you do it? Pause the video if you need more time. This will be fun. I'll show you at the end what the answers were, and then you'll have to tell me. Were you right? Were you wrong? Did you learn anything from this process? So the first brand I have on is the Ava and Viv brand by Target. I got them in a size 20. They're called the High Rise Skinny in a Dark Wash, and they sell for $27.99. They are made out of cotton, recycled poly, rayon, and they have 3% spandex. and the back. They have an interior elastic here to kind of help bring it in to give it shape. And then they also have tummy slimming pockets. They hit, I mean on me they're a little bit long but I think they're actually supposed to be an ankle length considered. The fabric itself is Nice and stretchy, really comfortable, but it feels like it'll it'll keep its shape and maintain it. I actually really like these. So, spoiler, I, I actually bought these 
a couple weeks ago and I've worn them maybe once or twice and I actually really love the fit of these in general. My only grievance with them is I don't think they're skinny enough. Like underneath the calf, they feel like they have a little bit of extra. Let me go back and show you. Like there's, there's definitely extra over here. And I've got, I've got some thicker ankles, I guess. Well, specifically one side, I had surgery on there, so it's a little bit thicker, but yeah, I feel like if they're true skinny, they should taper in maybe a little bit more. But beyond that, they fit really nice. Um, you know, they're flexible. Yeah, they're really nice. So the next pair I have on is from Old Navy. It is the Extra High Rise Secret Slim Pocket Rockstar 360 Degrees Stretch Super Skinny. <laughs> that is a mouthful. I got them in a size 24 based off of their size chart <clears throat> and they were $52.99. They are cotton poly rayon, 2% span. These are really cute. So actually, when I was ordering samples, I was thinking that these ones were gonna be my least favorite. Um, I feel like sizing in the past with Old Navy hasn't been very true to size for the plus guests. So I was assuming that these were gonna run really small, the rise wasn't gonna be as high as I'd like. Um, which is actually why when I saw the extra high rise, I was like, yes. Um, and I do feel like they hold truth. They're really high, like I like them. Um, these ones are crop length. They've got the little fray, chewed hem, some destruction at the knee, but the fabric itself is really nice. Um, it's got like a nice kind of texture, but a lot of stretch to it. And there's no elastic or anything exposed on the waistband, but I feel like maybe there's some elastic at the top edge inside. They fit really nice, tight to body. Um, and they've got, I love this feature, a little mesh, like a soft mesh pocket in here, so you don't see pocket bags. And then I guess it also says it like holds you in. But yeah, I guess I feel held in, but I guess with skinny jeans in general, usually you do feel held in. Yeah, I'm, so, um, I'm impressed, guys. I kind of like these. The next pair I'm trying on are the Torrid ones. They are the Sky High Skinny with Premium Stretch. Super High Rise Gap Proof Waist. I bought them in a size 22 in a dark wash and they are 75.50 and they are made out of cotton rayon poly span. So these ones so far have been the most fitted that I've put on, um, but they do have, like they said, the gap proof waistband, so there is this elastic detail on the inside waistband. Uh, the leg opening is really fitted on these. Um, and the rise is nice. It's a high enough rise, which is interesting. I feel like when I first bought a pair, I wanted more rise, so I don't know if they've raised it since the beginning of this uh, this style, the sky high. The one thing that I would love more of is depth in the pocket. It's pretty shallow, like it only goes like right here, where a lot of the other ones are lower. I do feel like their jeans always hold you in, so you know, living in a very cozy, comfy, quarantine life right now, these do feel like a little bit like whew, snug. Um, I do think that they stretch just a little bit once you wear them, so they'll probably fit perfectly. Um, if I want to size up, then they might be a little bit loose. But but yeah, I mean they're really they're really fitted to the body. And they're cute. A good skinny jean if you need something really skinny. So change of plans. I was initially going to show you guys the Good American Good Waist High Rise, and I bought them in a size 22 based off of their size chart, went to put them on, and they are very small. The rise seems very short. Uh, I didn't even bother to try to get it buttoned. So instead, I also bought their Good Legs, um, 
which I was thinking that the good waist was higher rise, so like, hey, that would be on par with the other ones I showed you. But so anyways, I put the good legs on. These ones fit. Um, you know, they're, they're <laughs> there was a few jumps to get them zipped up, but you know, now that they're on, they fit actually fine. Um, I would be curious to see what the next size up is, just to see if maybe I like them better. But these ones do fit fine, especially if they'll stretch out at all during wear. So as I mentioned, these are the Good American High Rise, Good, Good American, Good Legs, High Rise Skinny. They're $99, I got them in a size 22, and they're cotton poly with 2% elastane. I think overall the fit is nice. The fabric has some stretch to it, so I don't feel like they're too stiff. It, I mean, it's definitely a soft fabric, probably the softest of the bunch. The hem is moderately fitted, but not too tight. Probably get a little bit more fitted for a true skinny. I like the destruction on the back pockets. I don't really like the destruction on the front. It's a little, I don't know, the whiskers are kind of low. And whiskers are like those little kind of tiger stripes that happen up on the tummy. And that's like what's naturally supposed to happen if you sit in denim and it gives it like an authentic vintage look of how your denim would naturally wear out. But these ones just look kind of manufactured and. Oh, not my favorite. Okay, and now for the results. So check your answers on what you guessed in the beginning. Number one belongs to Torrid. Number two belongs to Target, Avon Viv. Number three is the Good American. And number four is Old Navy. Did you guys get it right? How did you do? Tell me down below. Which ones were your favorite today? I think my favorites, ooh. So I think it's a tie. I really do love the Ava and Viv ones. Uh, I think that, first of all, with the cheapest price point, it's a great deal. But also the fabric is nice and comfortable. It's got the fit solutions. I love how high the rise is as well. And then I think Old Navy actually really surprised me today too. I'd be curious to try on maybe more core washes, maybe less destruction, if they have that 360 degree fit technology on other ones. I did scoop up one of their other high rise ones. Those ones were just okay. I feel like the leg opening was kind of baggy um, under the calf and there was like less stretch to them. So I'll have to dig a little bit more into Old Navy and see what this 360 can deliver, but definitely like the feeling of that. So Torrid, you know, is always consistent. Everyone loves a Torrid jean. Um, so, you know, they're still a good option for sure. And I think the one that I was least impressed with were, <laughs> were the Good Americans, the ones that were the most expensive. Which goes to show you that it's not always the price that'll get you the fit that you want, the value that you need, um, and the look that you want. I feel like the Good Americans, I wasn't really in love with the wash of the denim. I wasn't in love with the fit as much. Um, and especially for that premium price point, I have high expectations for them. So I'll probably try them again, see if maybe there's a different wash, a different fabric that they offer. But yeah, today, not my winner. So thanks for taking this journey of skinny jeans with me. Do you guys want to see another denim haul? Do you want them to be skinny, straight legs? Which brands would you like to see? Please let me know down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, share, and see you next time.